trying to quit and it's hard. Seems to trigger my AFib. Yeah, it's hard, man. I mean, especially the old, I can just have one, right? It, it, Ray, if it makes you feel better, man, like about four nights ago, I couldn't sleep. So I just, sometimes when I can't sleep, I just have to have a carbohydrate. And just having that one hard carbohydrate ended up eating like, I don't know, six or 700 calories of crap. And I woke up the next day, got on a scale and regretted it. And it's the same with drinking. I mean, I'm just gonna have one, I'm at a party, and then you have a couple, and you wake up the next day regretting it, or maybe in your case, you're going into AFib, you regret it. Um, so, you know, there's a learning experience there for you, my friend. And again, I'm not judging, man. I get it. I understand it. I have my own vices. But a vice of mine just have, doesn't happen to be alcohol. I had no, actually, for me to give up alcohol was like, no problem. I literally would get drunk once or twice a year and that was it. I, I wasn't really big on alcohol. So it was no problem for me to give it up. But you, you take away my crappy diet, man, that was... So what some people do with alcohol, alcohol is something they do socially they get together socially well for me it was with food and alcohol was the way to celebrate and for me i celebrated with food and when i when some people when they have stress they drink the alcohol me when i have stress i deal with it with food and it's, it's like i mean what's the difference i mean we're both killing ourselves right like we're both we're both helping our aphid progress been a boozer for 30 years. Problem is everything we do, me and my wife with other couples. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, <sighs> Twice in my life, I've made a major life change and improved my health greatly. And in both cases, um, my friends didn't make the journey with me. I ended up with a new social group. So for what it's worth. And I, I didn't want I didn't want to give those friends up, but it just when I really dug in and, and insisted, no, this is how I'm doing my life now. Um the invitations to get together just sort of drifted off, right? So um I I would say just like I have my wife hide the peanut butter. Um Maybe you should just let your friends know. I, I want to get together with you, but only if, if there's no drinking involved, because I'm really having a problem with it. It's really setting off my heart. And just lay it on the table. And if they're really your friends, they'll be good with it. I mean, it's a tough decision. It's a tough call only you can make. But uh, I think uh, I think you need to be selfish and put yourself first for treating your AFib. There's, there's a right time to be selfish. And this is one of those times. Be selfish with your sleep. Be selfish with your health. Because you give this stuff away, you can never get it back. Just never get it back. So, you know, live well. Ray, live well, man. You're in that valley looking out at the mountains right now. You can't... You In your world, you can't see that there's actually something over that mountain. So, I'm rooting for you, man. Yeah, I'm rooting for you. You're welcome. I'm rooting for you. And I'm here for you too, man. Just send an email or something if times are tough. Go ahead. I'll answer when I can. Ray, thanks for sharing, man. Thanks for that piece of honesty. It's much appreciated. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up.